Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're going to take a look at Showboat Paige. Um, she is one of the contest superstars for the month. Um, so she's fairly boosted, and she's required on tours. So I figured let's uh, remind ourselves how to use Paige, um, because I certainly haven't used her in a very long time. Um, so I'm going to pull up the boosts real quick. As you can see, I've got all the, the screenshot off the blog. Um, so Paige, the Raven-Haired Renegade, 50% all gem damage, plus three protect gems, and 250% sub damage. Those are her boosts for the month. I'll hide that again. So when we look at her moves, you're thinking, okay, we'll need something that generates protect gems, and uh, we'll need something that's a sub. So that leads me to double black. Um, her flying forearm smash, I have her at four silver maxed, so, uh, maxes out the levels, like moves are maxed, but not the levels. Um, so, 8 MP, deal 12,804 damage, and make three random yellow gems into protect gems of strength 2,798. The PTO, 7 MP, is the submission, place four submission gems and do 6,852 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into protect gems of strength 3,075. So, the the problem that I'm having with Paige is there's no way to um, there's no way to fill the finisher with the double black setup. Like normally, you could run double red with either the forearm smash or the PCO. But since the boosts are on the protect gems and the sub, this is how I'm going to be trying to run her. Um, Raise your hand if you forgot she had an MP steal. Um, that's what I've been running for this tour. Alternative, you could put in the finisher. Um, let's try that, actually. It's going to look different than the pictures on the screen because this is, you know, we're live. Anything can happen. Um, so let's try with the finisher because... The sub will do a significant amount of damage, and um, our opponent doesn't have black moves, I don't think, so we'll try with the finisher instead. Um, but when you're facing Bianca or Alexa Bliss, um, that's why I had the, the, um, the MP steal put in. So for Entourage, uh, sub focus would be these three right here. Striker Austin for 50% more sub damage, uh, Zombie Kevin Owens for three more turns, and Acro Shelton for 20% more sub damage, and then Elias to charge black moves faster so we can get to that quick sub, hopefully. Um, since we're running the finisher, you could put Rikishi in there as, instead. I'm kind of doing this on the fly. I had one move set planned, and then I decided to change my mind. Um, yeah, we're going against Beth, so she doesn't have black moves. So you'll see, those are the boosts, along with my tour perks. I'm going to go to offense. So you'll see that we're doing six protect gems instead of three, and we're doing 28,000 damage per sub turn, and we're adding three more turns. So I think the play here is to focus on the sub, and then maybe the finisher is there just in case it's charged and we need to pin. Um, let's see how this feels. Did I mention I have her gear? I hid it from myself because who wears elf gear in September? Um, but her gear gives three more starting move points, and that's why I'm not using an MP trainer. Huh, <laughs> slight oversight there. Okay, so, we'll take the black match.
You know what? She's not charged, so I'm gonna take the yellow match while it's there. Now, we're gonna put the sub down. Put them on loot boxes, because they usually don't break. Yeah, so 28,000 per sub turn, which will help drain a lot of the health. Um, if we're using the finisher, you typically would want to leave loot, um, the protect gems on the board. So you would want to think about using co-owner flare as a coach to reduce your turns, just to ensure that you have the protect gems on the board. Uh, but since the sub is so heavily boosted, we might as well take that damage, like do as much damage as we can with that. It's a little on the slow side. Then we will throw out our protect gems on yellow gems. So we're not blocking one point of damage there. That's a bit of a visual glitch. We're blocking 3,000. And what we're going to do is uh, hit the finisher. Now keep in mind she's strapped and uh, we're not. So she may kick out, but we're going to see if we can get a bit of a dirty win here. Now if we had a strap and a full armor setup, this could be nasty. But you'll see that all of our protect gems are at least 4,500. So that definitely helps. Um, you just need to find a way to charge the yellow and the black. If you don't have Shelton, you could use Rikishi along with Elias. But that's a good option for um, when you're not facing somebody with black moves. Now let's try this match against Bianca just so we can put in the MP steal. Feels like we're probably in a little over our head, but I just want to show how it works. And uh, yeah, we don't need to because we have perks and gear, so the MP steel is ready to go on turn one, so we don't need an MP trainer for that. She only has the one black move, but my thought process here is the sub is six turns, so that should lower her MP on the red moves enough to give us a chance to charge it. So let's hit the snapmare. And again, if we had a strap, you could consider a flat yellow armor metal, just because you're hitting, that's only five MP, so you're hitting that fairly frequently. So that would be a decent option. Um, I found Paige's boosts for the month. I was able to win the Hell Mode matches, so I didn't feel the need to take the strap off of Mickey. Um, Powerhouse Triple H, on the other hand, needed a lot of help. Um, so I ended up taking the strap off of Phenom and putting it on him. Uh, she gets her red match right away, of course. Um, but with Paige, I found you didn't need a strap. So hope that she'll match that. And then excellent. We can take that yellow. Now the problem we're going to have here is we're only stealing 3 MP and we're only stealing from one move, so we're not going to be charged. Which means we may be holding this L. Yeah, we're pooched. Nah, YOLO. We do have 50% um, gem damage. Here's hoping she uh, does this wrong somehow. Hmm. 
Now nah, we're toast. Warm buttery toast. Oh, she didn't break the multis. Oh god. Done. All right. Well. Yeah, no, I've already won this match, but Anyways. At least I'm hoping you can see kind of how to focus around the blacks. Um, like the snapmare is the only way to fill your black moves without a gem match. And if you wanted to run her double red with the, um, with the forearm smash, you wouldn't be getting the benefits from the sub, but you would be you know, throwing out six cross breaks or six protects, turning them into cross breaks and then choosing two yellows to destroy. And with the gem damage, that may very well be viable. You know what? Let's try it. I don't see it working very well, but we could at least try. So we're going to be making six and converting them into cross breaks. Choosing two yellows to destroy. So let's put on... Let's put on X-Pac. Along with Elias. And then go move destroy. Purple moves that destroy gems that no, that doesn't help. Uh, moves that destroy yellow. Will destroy more yellow. And um, again, I have gear, so I don't really feel the need for. Uh, Tour perks, but we don't have a strap. So let's go with. Where is he? Old Faithful over here. Like I said, in theory, I don't really see this working, but let's at least try it. All right, so I tried this setup. And um, I got absolutely clapped both times, so uh, don't try this. It just didn't work. Um, I feel like with the boosts, the sub is definitely the way to go. And then basically just play defense the whole time. It's not fast, um, but it can sneak you out some punch-up wins, especially with that sub damage. So I would suggest building around that. Uh, let me know in the comments how you ended up running Paige with all the boosts and stuff. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.